So we've got our dulled image here. I've now dulled this with both of the previous things. But in order to show it off again, I'm going to go back and get a fresh copy of the changing of the guard. So again, you're going to continue working in this one, uh, your original file, but I'm just going to choose a really bright version to make it really obvious what it is that I'm trying to do. The next tool that we're going to use is this tool right here. If you hold your mouse over it, it's called the Dodge Burn tool. And so if I click on it, it sort of looks like a thermometer where they've replaced all the red with black. Not sure why that's the uh, image, but you'll see there's a number of different settings and we're actually going to use some of these settings, tool options settings. If you don't have a tool options tab, then you should go to windows and the second choice says dockable dialogues. And that's where your tool options tab will come back. If you do that, it will probably show up up here. And so you'll just want to click on the tab and bring it back down. So now that you've got your tool options in place, we're going to scroll down and confirm that usually the default setting is to dodge. So we shouldn't need to adjust that. We'll just leave it at dodge for now. And the, the biggest thing that we're going to change is we're going to change our brush and we may choose to change our size at some point. So if I click on brush, you'll see there's a number of different brush choices. Now, please don't use any choices that obviously have color in them because for whatever reason, those brushes actually just are more like stamps that just stamp the thing. But I'm going to choose a brush. Oh, let's choose this one today. Um, you can certainly choose any brush as long as it's got lots of black spots. And I'm just, as I said, I'm just going to randomly choose one. And then I'm going to look at the size of the circle. And actually, the size of that circle is just pretty much exactly what we're looking for. Now, if I choose Dodge, then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a mark and you can see here that I make a mark and yeah, that works. However, most students will just kind of click and want to sort of do everything all in one big giant click and drag and the dodge tool really doesn't work well for that. So you can see that's what I've done just now. It's just a big enormous click and drag. It didn't just kind of whited everything out a little bit. But what I really want to do where the dodge um, tool comes into effect is if I lift up and click and drag and click and drag and click and drag. Maybe you can hear my clicking going on there. And if I continue to click and drag, what it does is it, it leaves these kind of whited streaks. And what I want to do is I want to make this corner look like it has been left out in the sun while the rest of the photograph maybe was in a stack and the stack protected the rest of the photograph. And so I've just pretty much dodged out this, this whole corner. You can still see that there's a um, visible tree underneath, but it definitely looks like the sun has been beating down on this and not served it very well. So that's dodge. Now the opposite side of the dodge burn tool is the burn aspect. And so, as you can imagine, it would be a very similar effect, except in the different direction. So for this, I'm going to choose a different brush. Let's choose this one. Ooh, sand dunes. Sounds good. So I'm going to choose this brush, and I'm going to... Actually, I'll keep it the same size. And I'm just going to create an effect. I'm just going to drag it once. And you see I just dragged a semicircle, and you can barely notice any change. But if I drag it over it again, and then click and let go and again, and click and let go and again, and click and let go, you'll notice I'm just clicking and dragging, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. I don't want a perfect um, half circle by any stretch of the imagination. Um, certainly, if you end up with a perfect circle it, or half circle, it will sort of look like somebody just got out their paintbrush and just went to town. But we really just want to go back and forth over it slowly click by click, layer by layer, almost as it were, um, building up the effect that something horrible, like a coffee cup or whatever, sat here and uh, destroyed part of the picture. Okay, so I'm just continuing clicking and dragging an awful lot, and I think that will be good enough now. So I've burnt in a stretch. If you would like to also burn in another stretch, let's just see, um, this poor guy over here is just about to 
um, not be very happy with me. He'll get burned in a little bit. So that's dodge first and then burn. 